Today we're in Knoxville, Tennessee at the Parade of Homes and we're getting ready to check out another extraordinary home from Mike Stevens Homes. So let me get you outside, I'll tell you all about it. This is the Urban Retreat and this home, it is pretty unique in the fact that it's not just one townhome, it's two townhomes combined. A custom mashup of awesomeness. Now this one does feature four bedrooms, four full bathrooms, two half bathrooms, a three-car garage, and all of that sits inside of approximately 4,778 square feet. If you are interested in something like this, this specific home is $1.8 million. But with that, let's get inside and see what all we can find. All right, so there are some things that just catch you by surprise, you know what I mean? Like, just totally unexpected, and they turn out to be absolutely fantastic. And this home is one of those things for me. Now the fact that this is a townhome, like I would never have even expected it uh, as soon as I walked in. It looks like a townhome from outside, but then you walk inside and it's just, it opens up into this just piece of art. Like it's amazing. But again, this is the view, just kind of everywhere into this wide open room down here with the living room which i guess we'll go ahead and start in and of course it's got this beautiful gas fireplace we're going to get a closer look at it here in just a second you've got this super fun light fixture here with all the, the strings on it massive windows and then just i i love all the space you've got a nice tile floor going throughout the entire lower level. Check out this fireplace though. This one, uh, this is one for the books for sure. You've got the kind of coffered ceiling here in the living room as well. And then just off of this, and I'll have to spin you around a little bit uh, to get you back out to get those good views of the pool. But just off of the living room, we've got this screened in back patio. They've got the blue tape back there so nobody runs into it. You've got a super modern fan. I love the ceilings in here. You've got this really nice brick tile. I mean, just listen to the water. Like sitting out here on this little sofa back here. Ooh. That is nice. But all right, let's get back inside because there are, there's some things in here, tons of things. Y'all can already see that kitchen island. You know, it's got me salivating. I, I haven't even explored it yet. And I'm so excited. It's like my, my cabinet senses are tingling. You know what I mean? Like I just want to go in there and open it up. But you do have this little archway right here, kind of like a, so you've got this archway and then you come around the corner. This actually all goes back to the powder room, but it's another little archway right here and you've got the arch door, which is super cool, super solid door. But then this just leads back to the powder room. Not just the powder room, it's actually quite nice, you know what I mean? Cool little light fixture. And then of course you've got the toilet. Like, this one and the last one, uh, both have had arches in them. And, I, you know, I like it. We've talked about that, though, throughout the Texas homes. But coming into the kitchen, you got some super funky looking light fixtures up here, too. A lot of, uh, you know, kind of modern features within the home. You've got this gorgeous island right here with the double waterfall edges. It's like a little charger right here on the island as well two chargers one on either side i mean this thing is solid and then on the back side you've got the sink with some tile not quite going all the way up to the ceiling but pretty close and the sink is Really, like I love the color of it. I think it looks fantastic. We've got a built-in microwave. Let's get into, got the trash can drawer, dishwasher, this little pan cabinet. Ooh, yeah. Got a, I got a scan. 
But anyway, and then you've got some uppers up here as well. Just the creams and beiges just look so nice in here. And the pools are cool too. Just, I like how big they are. And of course you've got this massive refrigerator. And then on the opposite side, we've got this gas range. Huge range hood. I love the color of the stucco here. I think that looks really good. Nice and dark. Just definitely an accent piece against all the lighter colors. But you've got the gas range. Tons of burners. And then you've got almost like a double oven set on either side. All right, then we're going to go over here. Before we come back, we'll, we'll hit up the dining room before we go upstairs. But again, you've got another archway, another one of these fun little rounded doors. Love that. But that leads back here into a pantry. And then some of this stuff, ooh, I, <laughs> yes. The cabinet senses were tingling, but now they're really tingling. So huge butler's pan. This is almost like a whole second kitchen. So even more cabinets. It wraps around the sink right here, looking out into the courtyard area with the pool. Another trash can drawer, another dishwasher, another built-in microwave. Got a little Lazy Susan over here in the corner. Nope, just a great big corner cabinet. And this thing just wraps all the way around. And then you could even put, you've got a little cutout right here. You could put something over here too, some like nice built-ins. And what else do we have? A coat closet, like just, I'm so in love with these doors though. Like, look at that. Really neat. And then through this door, we come out into the courtyard area. Now this home does have a guest room, like a guest house. It's through here. This is the, the garage. It is locked. And then at the back of the garage, I can't get to it. I can't show you, unfortunately, but it's there. But you do have this beautiful courtyard with a swimming pool. Got a little hot tub back there. You got an outdoor shower. We can get over here and see if we can scope them, some things out. All these plants. Excuse me, plants. Ooh, I like how dark, like the, what is it called the, in the pool? Like a, the wrap or whatever in there. You know what I mean? It's all dark. You got the hot tub over here. And then this right here, like I said, it's locked and it's all muddy back there. But uh, ooh, maybe it's not locked. Let's see, can we get to it? Can we get to it? It's locked. <laughs> My hopes got up and then all of a sudden crushed. But anyway, we'll get back inside. Uh, it looks like you got your utility room right there. It looks like it's got a furnace. Maybe that's the pump house. Oh no, you got the water heater and the furnace. That's cool. All that's on the outside. All right, now we'll get, get back inside. So this is the dining room again, just right here off of the front door. Huge chandelier, just another spectacular area. Like I'm a, I'm a big fan. Like I love open concept. I'm a huge fan of open concept. And uh, I think this is definitely, definitely the ticket. Anyway, from here, we'll go ahead and work our way upstairs. If you are interested in this home or Mike Stevens homes, you can click that link right there at the top of the description, or you can go over to timothyplivingston.com where you can search not only this floor plan, but all the floor plans that we've toured across the country. See if they're built in your area, filter based off of number of bedrooms, style, layout, all different types of things. Take the tour like you are right now and then reach out to the builder and get your dream home underway. And look at this. It's a pocket door. Ooh, that thing is hefty. But it's around it. It's like a hobbit door. 
Ooh, this has got a whole nother level. All right. I haven't been up here yet. I only stayed downstairs. I wanted to, this to be a surprise. So this is a, like a little media room. And then just off of that, looks like our first bedroom. It's got some nice views down into the courtyard area. Huge room too. Man, I wish they would have kept those rounded doors in here too. But in this bathroom you've got, or in this bedroom you've got its own ensuite, single vanity, nice standalone shower. It's got two shower heads with the removable shower head and the normal shower head. And then on the opposite side, we've got a pocket door right here. It opens up into the closet. And then into the second bedroom. I feel like this one is almost a, a mirror image of the one we just came out of. But it also has some nice views down into the pool and courtyard area. I can't wait to hear what all y'all think about this home. So please let me know. Put it down in the comments. Because uh, when, it, when it comes to a townhome, we've only toured a handful, I know. But uh, whew, I don't think they get much better. And then into the closet in here. Again, you've got another pocket door right there. And let's see. So this is another one of the pocket doors. Ooh, this one's got a little latch, that's different. You hit a little button right here, the little latch comes out, you can pull it. I mean, these doors are hefty. And this comes back into... <laughs> okay. Uh, this is the doorway coming into the master bedroom. Oh, that's cool. I just realized that. So it's a mirror and I was like, oh, hey, it's me. You know what I mean? But it's got this little cutout right here with the arch and then the mirror sits back within the arch. Just kind of, it's like a trippy 3D thing. You know what I mean? Like it definitely adds some depth to it. I don't know. But then coming into the bedroom itself, you've got these huge beams. Oh, y'all wait until I turn you around to see these doors. Got this sliding glass door right here out onto like a little balcony. Got some a textured accent wall. Y'all, how about this? Look at these doors though. These are like old reclaimed doors. I don't know if this is uh, if they had these made or uh, the owner, you know, found them and wanted to have them put in. But they're, it's kind of a cool little piece. And then from there you come into the ensuite. <laughs> Man, this is nice. Cool little fan in here. Double vanities. And then check out this shower. Look at that. Zero threshold. Just kind of walk right up into it. Got four shower heads, tons of space, tile all the way around it. And then back behind us, you know, if you're loving the tubs, look at this big old concrete tub right here. That's nice. And then of course you've got the water closet in here as well. And then as we work our way back towards the back of the ensuite, we have one closet. Got a nice little pocket door. You've got 
a second closet, and that is a shoe rack. And then this, I'm not sure what this is. Is this like another one? It's like a linen closet. See, some, some people get on to me for saying like, best I've ever seen or something like that. But whenever you, you're, you're constantly touring new builders and seeing new homes, like, Maybe they're best I've seen in certain classes. There's like a fan on in here. Oh, this is a laundry. But uh, yeah, <laughs> everything, <laughs> everything one ups the other, you know what I mean? So it's just a, a nonstop battle of uh, a new best. But from here you come into the laundry room, you've got this nice prep sink. You've got washer dryer hookups. Plenty of cabinet space in here. Looks like, the, I think this is an electric panel or an ironing board. It's an ironing board. I knew it had to be one of the two. Electric panel is back behind us. And then I think we've come full circle up top. This is like a little parlor room, just a little sitting area. I kind of let me get you over here so you can have a reference as to where we are so back that way is where we came up and got to the top of the stairs from the first floor and then from here we've got a whole nother level so i'm getting my exercise in today i'm gonna have to come back up here i gotta do a TikTok too if you guys don't follow us like on on TikTok or facebook um we'd love to have you it's other places that you can find us oh my goodness this is uh whoo i've never seen a, a rooftop cornhole set we're gonna get out there in just a second uh, i got a little office space up here i didn't know that this third floor existed i thought it was only gonna be like a two bed like a two floor situation but this is uh this is where the parties are so you've got another powder room up here it's like a whole rooftop deck. So you've got uh, like another bar area. So you've got a wine chiller, a little prep sink. You've got another microwave. It's like an ice maker and a dishwasher. And then oh, let's get outside because this is, oh, oh, I thought that was another set of stairs. I was about to be like, what? See how it, that's kind of where the stairwell came up right here. I didn't know if it was going to be like another set of stairs that go up to an even higher, like the VIP section of this home. <laughs> so this is cool though. I love this a little rooftop cornhole. It looks super cool. Tennessee. So we've got to check out that view back there. You've got the mountains. Spectacular. And it just kind of wraps around. So you got another little outdoor movie theater spot. We've got another little arch doorway. And then this is, this looks like where your air conditioning units are, all tucked away and hidden. And then we got views back down into the pool area. How about that? All right, if this isn't a home for the ages, I don't know what is. Let me know what you think about it though down in the comments. If you do want any more information on this model or Mike Stevens Homes, of course you can click the link right there at the top of the description or you can go over to timothyplivingston.com. Again, search this floor plan, all the floor plans, find that perfect dream home for you. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the tour and as always, my name's Timothy. I'll see your beautiful face in the next one.